Hey beer tubers! Today's my last day here in Utah, and I figured it would be appropriate to review a beer by an up and coming brewery from Salt Lake City that is starting to become well known in the craft beer world. Uh, this is going to be my first epic brewing review, and it is their brainless Belgian style golden ale, the corruption version. Basically, they took their regular golden ale here and they hopped it up. Uh, this is this this corruption or collaboration is actually with uh, DC Bro from Washington DC. It's a microbrewery in Washington DC, and they collaborated, corrupted their <laughs> golden ale, and they basically hopped it up. So this is almost like a Belgian style pale Belgian style IPA. I'm not quite sure what it is. Uh, it is 6.6 percent, which is lower than their regular 8 percent golden ale. But without further ado, let me go ahead and open it up, and I'll show you how it is. So this is a limited release beer, and I was fortunate enough to catch this beer before uh, they, it all ran out because uh, supposedly it runs out in one day. Uh, they've had it for a week, so it's still very fresh, and uh, I was able to get it. So I'm going to be pouring it into this nice epic uh, mini tulip Belgian style glass, and I'm going to give it a slightly aggressive pour so I could get the beer a bit agitated. I'll get the aroma. Um, the color is actually uh, pretty cloudy. Uh, it's got this uh, really uh, unfiltered uh, orange color, uh, just really, really hazy like crazy. Um, the, it's got a finger worth of foamy, kind of pillowy head. Uh, let me check the aroma. I, I could smell it here already. I mean, I I'll tell you what I smell. <laughs> All right. Jeez, yeah, this this thing is really hopped up. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if this is more of a Belgian style IPA than a pale ale. Um, I smell quite a bit of uh, either Cascade or Centennial. I believe they said that they they, they had uh, Centennial in it, uh, but I definitely get the citrus quality, this this grassy citrus quality. Um, I know the citrus is definitely from a Citra hop, uh, definitely Centennial, and some of this earthy quality which. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I remember. Um, they they did uh, hop it up with uh, Chinook as well too. So it definitely has a Chinook, but quite a bit of um, uh, of the citrus, which is from the Citra and the Centennial. Uh, some grassy notes, earthy as well, and yeah, and definitely get uh, some floral aroma because it is uh, because of the Belgian yeast that is used. So let me go ahead and uh, give it a try here. Come fight. Woo! Oh boy, I'm gonna I'm about to head out to San Diego to meet up with Ryan, and I was gonna I was really looking forward to some San Diego hoppiness, which is still really hoppy, but it's really nice to have some fresh hops. <laughs> it's been a while since I've had it. It, it tastes great. Um, right up right off the bat, I definitely get the hops right up front. I get some that dry grassy earthiness up front, uh, quite a bit of citrus, and then all of a sudden you get this uh, bubblegummy, tropical fruit kind of sweetness, and then it kind of has a nice uh, 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 dying finish. Uh, it, it doesn't have an after lingering sweetness, uh, even in the hops, it doesn't really linger that much, uh, it kind of just finishes off, but it's not so much it really just dies out that you're like, what the heck, where did it go? Um, it, it does have a nice smooth cutoff to it. I'm starting to notice more of the sweet character from this beer. Like I said, uh, some, some of the lighter tropical fruits, the citrus fruits, uh, but also I'm starting to notice more of the floral aspect of this beer. Now, not only in the aroma, but in the, in the flavor as well too, and that is from the Belgian yeast that they use. Um, it's, it's actually a really nice beer, and it's, it's too bad it's a limited uh, corruption, a collaboration with the DC Brow, but this is actually really pleasant. I've never had the regular golden ale version of this, but <clears throat> but the hoppiness, I really dig it. I I think the uh, the the main showcase of this beer is the hops. Kevin, the main master brewer, I use the the Chinook, but uh, dry hopping it with Citra, which is thumbs up for me. Um, but also with with a Centennial adds uh, quite a bit of nice nice uh, hoppy touch to it. Now, as far as ratings go. I'll give this an A minus. Uh, it's it's really nice beer. Uh, the hops isn't overbearing. It doesn't just leave this just lingering dryness that just like scratches your tongue. Uh, it's very pleasant. It's actually quite balanced for for a beer that where the hops are the main characters of this beer. Um, it still has a really nice balance throughout, <coughs> and that's what means it's really good. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, it's it's a really nice beer. I give it an A minus. Um, if you guys get Epic Brewing at all, I think in New York you do, in California, in Southern California, they started carrying it. Definitely check their beers out. They have three different series, and this is kind of their, uh, their in, in the middle of the road series. They have their Exponential series, which they start having some really interesting, funky kind of beers. But anyways, it's a uh, A- minus for me for the brainless uh, Belgian style corruption golden ale. Uh, and yeah, in the meantime, go ahead and get yourself some really good beers, especially nice and fresh and hoppy ones like this. Come by.